I believe that the purpose of life is to be happy. But given that, that uh, people, the education system trains you how, 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 how you can be happy, it must also have economic op objectives. And that, I think, is the problem with our society, in that we have inherited the colonial system of education that uh, was designed to train us to be clerks and operatives for the conglomerates and big business. Uh, but it has not directed its attention to producing creative people, inventors and innovators, so that after 43 years, whatever it is, of independence, we have invented nothing. We have only produced uh, uh, students, graduates, uh, to serve the, 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 the owners of the economy. Let me put it that, that way. Yet when our children go abroad, they, do, they perform miracles. So that what I think there is need for is us to look at the, the education system and try to determine its purpose from an economic point of view. I think that is what is lacking, that we have not had the courage to do that yet. That is changing. It has to change more rapidly, particularly, as I said a little earlier on today, now that uh, petroleum and gas revenues are no longer available, uh, what we have to do is that in order to create jobs, we must create inventors and innovators who will create institutions that gives jobs. I think that is, uh, that, that is what the objective has to be. It is always nice, a nice feeling to be honored for things you have done. Um, apparently it's for the right things I have done and thank God they have forgotten the wrong ones. So that it is always an honor to be honored. I'm extremely happy to hear that. <laughs>